Hello. And I know what you're thinking. Oh no! What's he back on camera for? Why is he have a picture of a movie poster in his TikTok? Oh no! Not another review! Sound the music. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry, I ran out of oxygen. My name is Rick McGray. Remember the name. And I'd like to welcome you to another review. By me, Rick McGray, remember the name. Now on this, for this review, I'm taking a shot at one of the most critically acclaimed films of 2022. And I know that you're thinking, Rick, why would you review a movie about your own life? Why would you be so vulnerable? And the answer is simply this. Because it's what I do, baby. It's what I do. <laughs> People have labeled a new term called the Renaissance. Talking and speaking of the return of the great Brendan Fraser to the silver screen. You might remember him from such films as Airheads, Inkheart, Journey to the Center of the Earth, George of the Jungle, The Mummy, just so many, and See No Man. Which, oddly enough, we'll get to that little connection soon. But sticking to the film... Brendan Fraser is deserving of all the praise that he got for his performance in this film. Yes, there's been backlash about how they should have hired a, an obese actor to play the whale and how Brendan Fraser shouldn't have been wearing a fat suit. We're too woke. We're too, we're too sensitive in this day and age. And it's really taken a toll on art. But this film was strong enough and is strong enough to stand the test of time. It's about a morbidly obese man who is stuck in his apartment because he cannot leave. And it basically chronicles a week of it in his life. I don't want to give any spoilers. Because this film, bar none, was probably the best film that's been made in the last five to ten years. The performances in the film are so strong. I literally cried the entire film at certain parts because certain parts really got to me. They really stuck with me, especially the food parts. Because, you know, I understand what it's like to be a heavier set man, a fluffy man, if you will. And how sometimes you can use food to fill that void in your life when you're sad. And how food can be easily controlled and how food can make your stomach feel warm, which then makes you feel warm, but only for a second. And I can see how you can fall off and kind of like fall into that, you know, not caring anymore because the bigger you get, the less interested people seem to be. The scenes in this film with Brendan Fraser and his daughter were extremely powerful because he played Charlie so good in the sense of every aspect, like just being the desperation to be a good father when he's not a good father. And the whole story that come, uh, comes around 
of why the relationship is strained. Like I said, no spoilers. I can't do that. I won't do that to my my viewing public because I respect you too much. But this is an absolute gut wrencher of the best kind. I'm a person who can enjoy sad films. Some of my favorite films are sad films. And um, if you can be empathetic and open and understanding and see above your own perception of the world, I feel like this movie will take you on a ride like it took me on a ride. I remember hearing about it when it first came out, and I was just like, oh, I wonder what it's it doesn't sound like. I don't know what it's going to be like, you know. I didn't know. But when I started watching it, it was not even 10 minutes into it that I began crying because I understood the struggle of this man to a point, the loneliness, the isolation, the lack of care, the embarrassment. That's the thing that people don't get when it comes to people who are a little bit bigger. You don't need to make the jokes. You don't need to make the comments. We already know. We're already thinking about it. When we put on our shirt in the morning, when our belt doesn't take that many notches to uh, click up, or when we're walking around in public and people notice. And I mean, I'm not like, I'm not like a 600 pound man or nothing, but I certainly do know what it feels like, and I've watched loved ones who struggled with weight their entire lives. And um, I, I've seen people, I've, I've been the person that's made the jokes, just being honest. Not my finest moment in my life, for sure. But it goes back to the old saying of, don't judge before you walk a mile in someone's shoes. And this film encapsulates all of that. It encapsulates everything. The whole struggle. And the sadness, the deep sadness that people think they understand. Or want to act like they know. But I can assure you. Unless you've been there. You can't do it. And you won't do it. When people were mad that Brendan Fraser won the best actor Oscar for this film. Over the guy who played Elvis. This is what I simply say. How many films have been made about Elvis Presley? Many. And I'm not excluding anything that he ever did in his life. Never. But there are times in life when people are owed their due. And in my opinion, Brendan Fraser was undoubtedly the best actor of 2022. The journey that he took... To play this film, to play this character, to be in this film is extraordinary. So, if you want to watch a good movie, and you can tell him I said it, watch The Whale, starring Brendan Fraser, Sadie Sink. I'm Rick McGray. Remember the name.